One of the most common questions I've, get, I've gotten asked over the years is, how, George, how do I build my email list? Now, you may have thought of that question too. You want to grow an email list because you've heard from other marketers that that's the thing that you're supposed to do, right? Because your email list supposedly is the one most important asset in your business. It's the most reliable way to stay in touch with your audience, et cetera, et cetera. Well, I'm here to break that myth and share with you what my experience has been, uh, and not just my own, but having coached hundreds of uh, business owners and, and taught thousands of people over the years. You cannot control your email list. Now, you might be shocked to say, well, I thought I can control my email list. I, I can't control the Instagram algorithm. I can't control the, the Facebook or YouTube algorithms. I can control my email list, right? No, not really. Because how do you know what the average email open rate is? It's under 25%. And actually, most people, most marketers are hoping for between 10 to 15%. Meaning, if you have an email list of 100 people, you might expect 10 to 15, 10 to 25 at the, at the upper limit to open your emails. And that number will fluctuate over the years, over, over even several weeks or months. So you can't control how many people open your emails. And even if they open your emails, you can't control whether they read your emails, right? And even if they read your emails, you can't control whether they care about your message. So none of us really want an email list. What we really want is an engaged audience. That's what you really want. You want people who are right for your services, who care about your message. That's really what you want. And so let me tell you how to do that. If you focus on building an email list, you're going to use inauthentic marketing methods to try to get the numbers up, and you'll have people who don't care. So instead, switch your mindset from building an email list, building the numbers, to building an audience of people who care. So there's the there's there's only let me tell you what you can control. If you can't control your email list, you can't control the Facebook algorithms or whatever algorithms. You can control whether you are posting content consistently, whether you are being authentic in your intentions and in, in sharing content. I'm trying to help here. I'm trying to inspire. People can sense that. Okay? Consistency, authenticity, and relevance. You can control as you look back at the data of your content, you can notice, oh, here are the pieces that they found most helpful, that they found most inspiring. So maybe there you can share, you can concentrate your um, activities on, on those things that they found most inspiring. So you can control your consistency of content, your authenticity of content, and the, how, can, how relevant your content is. That's what you can control. And if you can control, if you control those things, if you keep improving those things, then you build an engaged audience wherever they are. So that's the other point I want to make is instead of forcing people to join your email list to get your best free content, do what I do. I give my best free content wherever you are. Some of you are watching this on Instagram. Some of you are watching this on YouTube. Some of you are watching this on, on Facebook, okay, because I put these in all these different places. I show up where you are consistently so that I can keep on connecting with you and, and sharing with you a message that's hopefully inspiring and helpful. And that's how I am grateful to be able to have the privilege of your attention. And if I have the privilege of your ongoing attention, that's when I can tell you about my services and my products occasionally so that you know you can consider whether that's right for you. But if I don't even have your attention, I, I can't even share with you my product and service, etc. Right? So you can control your consistency, your authenticity, your relevance, and you can control whether you're meeting people where they are rather than forcing them to join. Now, the thing is I do have an email newsletter, but I think of my email newsletter as a service of convenience to you. You might find one day come to my website and say, oh, I can also get email reminders of George's best content. Great. I'll, I'll do that. I, I prefer that. But, but it's only for people who, and, you know, to, who want that, right? To want that reminder. But f for everybody else who doesn't draw my email list, I meet them where they're at, right? I give my best free content that way. So I hope this is helpful and helps you to kind of shift your mindset on this stuff and um, hopefully helps you to build a more engaged audience that's ready for your services and your products. Okay, I wish you well.